3, you can choose between uh, two different projects. This one, which is a keychain or a shoelace debray. If you want the shoelace debray, you got to go to the other video. Once you are logged into Tinkercad, go ahead and click Create New Design. First thing we're going to do, as we always do, is go ahead and click on the top there. Let's name our design. I'm going to write my name. And then I'm also going to put, this is a uh, keychain. Enter. All right, now we are ready to go. There are few different shapes that we can use for keychains. This is ultimately what they will look like. As you can see, they have a letter for an initial, and they also each have the holes for the actual keychain. You can choose which shape you want your keychain to be. There are these five shapes all located in this first box right here. For our demo, we are going to do, let's use the heart. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Scroll down here and I'm going to use the heart. Now, if you are using something else, that's fine. Go ahead and select that. The tutorial is going to be the same way. First thing we're going to do is once you have it on here, we're going to click on the corner and we're going to actually hold shift with your finger, the shift key, hold it, and now click and drag. And we're going to drag this until both numbers are right around 30. So this one's 31, that one's 29. That's pretty good right there. We're going to stop there. You're going to do that with the same, the same thing with the other shapes as well. Something around 30 is just right. Then we're going to change the height. So the height, remember, is this top box right here. Click on that, and we're going to change it to 5 millimeters. I'll make it a little bit thinner, okay? Um, Next step is we're going to add our initials to this. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up here and find the text uh, item. Click on it right there. And then when this box comes up, I'm going to hit backspace and I'm going to type my first initial A. All right. Now, it's easier to see this from the top view. So I'm going to click top view. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize this. I can hold shift again. Holding shift keep maintains the ratio. If I don't hold shift, it can stretch it or do this, which is fine if you want that too, but holding shift maintains the ratio. I'm going to put it right here. You just want to make sure it's in fully inside the heart and there's no edges hanging out. Okay. Quick uh, uh, hint here, if you uh, click and select a box or on both objects, you can go to this little menu here, which is an align menu. And what that does is it allows you to align things so that things are straight down the center. So that makes it so that the A is right in the middle of the heart. Okay, there we go. I'm good with that. I'm going to scoot this down a little bit just by hitting my down arrow. All right, now I'm going to put uh, our keyhole chain we still need to do, and I'm going to put it in one of these edges here. And I also have to actually change the height of the A. Remember, the height of, of the heart was 5 millimeters. We're going to do this to 7. So it's just barely over the surface. That way, when it prints, um, you'll see the raised letter off of your object. All right, now the final one here is we're going to add the cylinder. I'm going to bring it in right in here. That's obviously too big. So I'm going to click on the corner, and I'm going to change this 20 to 3, and then this 20 also to 3. Click Enter. All right, now let's go back to the top view here, and I'm going to put this right here on the corner. Um, removing perspective here gives you a really nice view of exactly where it's going to be, so I'm zooming in here, and it's right there. We don't want it to be too close. If it's too close to the edge, um, it will be delicate. It could easily break. So we want to bring it in a little bit. I think right there is just right. Okay. Now, obviously, this is much bigger than that, but it doesn't matter as long as we can see it here on the other side. It's going all the way through. Our last step is to click, drag a box around all three objects, the heart, the A, and your cylinder, and we're going to group it. And now that's going to make it all into one object, including making the hole on the keychain. Now, my filament on my printer is red right now, so I know it's going to print red. So if I want to see what it looks like with red, there it is. And now I'm ready to go. This is my model. Okay. All we have to do now is to export this, save this. So to do that, go ahead and select your object, and we're going to go to Export. Select the selected object, and we always do STL. Click on STL, and that will save it to your computer. Okay. Um, on the next video, I'll show you how to slice it in the slicing software, which will then allow you to save it onto USB and print it out. All right. See you in the next one.